Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a random reading for the 12th of June. The general readings, so take it applies, if it applies, you know what to do with the rest of it. Thanks for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading, you know, all that info is in the box below. There is still time to um, get in on the contest to win a free hour reading with me or a half hour reading with me or a mystery box done by uh, myself and Crystal. Uh, make a $5 donation to the to my channel and you're in. So let's see what's shaking for the 12th of June. Oops. Three cards came up with their face down. Queen of Swords. Ooh. Devil. Ooh, in a reverse, King of Wands. We only take the ones that are face up. It'll be a King of Wands out of their element. Arrogant. Self-gratifying. Okay, so these came out, but they're in the reverse. So we have Death. Something not, not transforming, something not changing. Could be a Scorpio. And the Six of Wands in reverse. No victory had yet here. No victory because something doesn't change. Hmm. This has got anything to do with that fire-like energy in the reverse. Maybe somebody doesn't want something to change. They like it just the way it is. Because he had the devil there, too. Let's we'll see if they come back out. <laughs> Two. In the reverse. You've got the Nine of Cups, the Yes card, the wish being fulfilled. Oop, not today. There's that fire sign. That Knight of Wands in the reverse as well. Somebody coming in to deliver, you know, a message of a course of action. Coming in, you know, swift. Huh. Not today. Wow. Somebody here is unmotivated. Somebody's wish isn't being fulfilled. It's not being fulfilled because something's not changing. And because it's not changing, somebody here feels like they're, you know... They're on the losing end or the short end of the stick here. That they can't find any victory in some sort of situation. Not taking a course of action to it. Something definitely needs to change. And again, like I was saying, maybe somebody doesn't want something to change. That nine of cups in the reverse could be, you know, something being selfish. We have... Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, King of Pentacles in the upright. Somebody practical, methodical, likes their coin, likes their material things, being grounded. And this fire sign in the reverse is looking right at the King of Pentacles. This could be jealousy. And that makes somebody, you know, out of their element. And that needs to change. It's like somebody's doing well and somebody's, you know, situation's not that great. You know, and it's, it's almost like they have animosity about somebody who's doing well when their situation, you know, isn't so great. See what else comes out. Okay, this came out of the upright. So we have the Seven of Cups. And this could be confusion. Your choices and your options, you know, you can't really see them clearly. And it might be even slim pickings, I mean, because in this card, yeah, there you can see it. You got a snake in one cup. No thanks. A bobbing head. Uh uh. And what's on the. the the handkerchief? Who knows?
something's not changing because somebody is confused, confused, or doesn't clearly see their options to make a change. Maybe until this person, you know, comes out of this confusion and makes a choice, then something can change. It's like something's stagnant. Maybe somebody doesn't want to change. Like I said before, because if something changes, then what do they do after that? At least where they are right now, you know, it might suck. But they see everything in front of them. Changing, some, ooh, changing something, ooh, you know, makes somebody feel like they're not in control anymore. Hmm. Okay. That was face down the Knight of Swords rushing in with the communication, but it was face down. These ones came face up. Okay. You've got the Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail of Love. Right under the Six of Wands in reverse. It's like no victory in love. And they get the hangman in reverse. So somebody's getting unstuck. In the upright, you know, this feels like nothing moves, like this situation. And then they see something in a different perspective. And they get themselves unstuck right under the wish card in reverse. Interesting. Maybe somebody doesn't know how to move forward in love. Hmm. Now we have the Hierophant, also known as a Taurus, right under the Knight of Wands in reverse. Having faith, having hope, doing things in a traditional way. Not losing faith in a situation. Not losing faith in love. Maybe somebody did for a while. They had choices, but they just didn't choose to see what they had. It's like somebody wanted to st stay in there. Whoa. You know, the Nine of Cups reversed. Nope, I'm not changing my mind. I'm not changing the way I feel about love. It's never worked out for me before. But I think if, if this is, you know, resonating with anybody... If somebody didn't want to change their perspective, thus the hangman, you know, in regards to love, ace of cups, that they do. And it's like their faith is restored with the hair font. Hmm. Emperor. About structure, about stability. Could be an Aries or a Taurus. And that's right under the pen uh, the King of Pentacles in the upright. The Emperor, you know, is about respect. He makes the law. He makes the rules. He's, you know, top dog. It's about drawing a line in the sand, and this is where respect is earned and given. About being back in control again. Being back on top. Maybe after something failed. It might have left a bad taste in somebody's mouth. But now they see something in a different perspective. And it like... They regain hope. Alright. Bottom of the deck. Makes sense to me. You get temperance. A card of patience. Getting your head and your heart on the same page. All your hopes, all your fears, your subconscious and your conscious. It's about balance. Because something here was off balance and that's why it didn't change. For someone. I think somebody here got 
grounded, start seeing things for how it really is. Look past the illusions, the confusion. That they can have something new. This could be maybe something new comes in and changes their perception. Okay. Take a look here. Something's not changing. A situation or a way somebody thinks, feels. Because they just felt in the past. I can't win at this. I can't win at love. I can't win, you know, no matter how hard. I can't win for losing. <laughs> kind of like feels to me. Because somebody here, you know, has wished and wished for something. It just didn't come to fruition. And I think somebody lost drive. Passion. You know, or motivated. Something didn't pan out for somebody. And it brought them down. You know, like the negative Nancy. Nothing against any Nancys out there. <laughs> well, I'm just saying it's like, well, I didn't get my wish fulfilled. Nothing ever changes. I can't win for losing, so why try with the Knight of Wands in reverse? But, then you get the King of Pentacles in the upright. Who is practical, methodical, a realist. Sees things for how they really are. They don't sugarcoat it. And this kind of nudges somebody. It brings in something and maybe someone's like, well, that's kind of confusing. My options, my choices were never that good. Slim pickings. <laughs> but then the universe comes in and hands them an opportunity to see if they take it or not. An opportunity to have new love. Maybe after somebody lost hope in love that, you know, they can't win at the game of love. But being grounded, being practical, being thoughtful in the universe, bringing this opportunity, gets somebody unstuck. They see that opportunity. And it's like, all right, I get it now. I get it why something didn't change. And whatever this is, restores somebody's, you know, Faith and hope that love is obtainable. That they can have love in their life. And this puts somebody back on top. Because they saw something in a different perspective. It changed the way they, they looked at looks like love. So let's break it down, folks. Somebody's confused about how to change something. How to transform something. Her? Because somebody just couldn't win. No matter how many times they started over in love, it just seemed like it. they couldn't obtain it. But they get presented another opportunity to have this Holy Grail. Because they get it now. You know, I know why now that something didn't work out. I know why something didn't, didn't change. I see it. I get it. And this person realizes because I have to make it happen. I have to move on it. And I have to be more positive. Let me see if you can see that. I can't just sit around and wait for it to come to me. I've got to go get it. i got to believe in it again. Because now I'm not sugarcoating anything. Here's the hard reality. If I want it, I have to get it. And when I put in all the efforts, I could be back on top again. 
I can have these things and be successful at them. Somebody found balance in the situation. They got it together. So, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.